every single day. We recite Surah Al-Fatiha five times a day. And at the end, we recite اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين The interpreters explained this verse to mean three categories of people الذين أنعمت عليهم those who you blessed and they said it means the Muslims. غير المغضوب عليهم Those that you have cursed. They said it meant to be the Jews. ولا الضالين Those who were misguided. And it was said to be the Christians. Brothers and sisters, what's going on today in Gaza? This is not something that was recent. It is not something that has started on October 7th. And it is not also something that started 80 years ago. It is something that started from that moment. The people that are distributing facade, corruption in land, they've been doing it since Iblis did that sin. Iblis is their guidance. Iblis is their mentor. Iblis is their teacher. When Musa alayhi salam was crossing the sea, these same people, they witnessed the miracle of Allah. They saw the sea parting into two. Allah opening a path for them through the sea so they can walk peacefully and safe into the other shore. So Fir'aun could not catch them. Right after it, what did they do? What did they ask of Musa? We want a god, an idol. Can you make an idol to us that we could worship? Cursed people are people who know the truth, who understand the truth, who know what's right from what's wrong, but they decide, we will follow the corrupted path. We will follow the evil path. And just like Iblis, he said, لَأُغْوِيَنَّهُمْ أَجْمَعِينَ Those cursed people, that is what they're doing with the media, with the financial system, with the political and social system that they have been manipulating and controlling for the past two centuries at least. They are the tool of Iblis. They are misguiding others, misguiding Christians, Muslims, atheists, every other religion, they are misguiding them because they want to keep them obedient, ignorant, to continue to work for their own benefit and their own good. What they're doing in Palestine, the purpose of it is not what they claim. It's not peace. It is not to return to the homeland. The true reason why they're doing what they're doing is to continue to spread corruption, interest, murder, stealing, zina. That is the purpose of what they are doing.